Hi, I'm Graham Hicks. I'm Britain's strongest man. Um, I've just finished some training here with uh, Tom and Luke Stoltman, and I've just got some question and answers that I'm going to do now. How can I get my diet right on a budget? Well, actually, I, I eat on a budget quite regular. I spend £20 a week on mince. Uh, mince is uh, a very cheap alternative to steak and I think it's a lot more uh, nutrient value than chicken. Mince and rice is not expensive and it's a very, very good thing to, to get going diet wise. When did you first start lifting? I first started the gym when I was about 14. Uh, my initial reason for going to the gym was when I was at high school, I was probably a bit, I thought it was a bit chunky at the time, so I wanted to get into some, doing some bit of fit, fitness wise, other than football. Uh, once I started going to the gym, I was hooked. Um, I've always gone to the gym since. Can you ever get Zajunis' log record? I believe I'm the man to do it. Um, I've put a lot of more concentration into my log lifting lately. Um, it's starting to show. I think that if I can get my clean as efficient as I, I hope it can be, I can get to see what I'm capable of pressing. I know I can press 230. Um, it's pressing it without wasting too much energy cleaning it. So um, if I get them two things together, we'll see 230 log from me. What's your best moment in Strongman? Obviously, my best moment in Strongman would be to, to the fact that I've won Britain's Strongest Man. Since 2014, it was kind of a goal that I wanted to win Britain's Strongest Man one day. It took five years, but uh, it was an achievement, it was a goal, and uh, I achieved it, so that would be my best moment in Strongman. Um, how did you first start Strongman? What inspired you to give it a goal? Uh, it was actually a, a strange one. I was, I was working the doors at the time, um, a guy introduced me to the under 105 kilo weight class in Strongman um, and that's how I got started. I, I did my first show uh, four months later uh, doing under 105s. Um, I wasn't anything special at the time. After a year of my first year with Strongman, I started to see that you know I, it was definitely something that I could progress and excel at. Every year I got stronger, I got bigger and I got better. Um, and that's still the case now, nine years later. Why do you always have a pad on your chest when you bench? Um, it's quite a funny one because I answer this question all the time. I even put a post up answering it and I still get answered it. Asked it, sorry. Um, basically, when I bench press, I try to have it close enough that I'm training predominantly in my triceps. Um, and I found that when I got to my chest and it started to get heavier, uh, over 180, I was getting really bad shoulder pain, um, you know, and the only way to take away the shoulder pain was to put my hands wider, which was against what I was trying to do. So I tried a pad. Um, my range of motion was still quite big. In fact, my range of motion doing this was actually bigger than when I benched to my chest with an arch in my back. So, um, you know, it, it, it definitely carries over to my overhead press, I think. And uh, it's something that I always recommend people to do and to put into the training if they're a strong man, because Whereas bench press is good for you, and it you know it gets you strong. Really, we're after strong triceps for a strong lockout, and uh, you know there's, there's a pad underneath, and the and the close grip definitely aids that. <laughs> Must at the fart one. The best way to overcome a deadlift plateau. Now, I don't think there's any athlete out there that has never experienced a deadlift plateau. Um, I just had one recently. Um, I think sometimes you've just got to, no matter how experienced you are or, or think you are, you've sometimes just got to take the two steps back, assess your program, assess your weights, assess your, te uh, you know, and look at your technique, um, and just try and improve things and try and mainly enjoy it. Because if you're not enjoying your deadlift and you stress about it, you are going to make it hard work for yourself going forward. So just remember to enjoy it. You're there, you train because you enjoy it. Um, and just even maybe try a different program. You know, there's a lot of coaches out there, there's a lot of programs out there. Usually to, to try and improve yourself, it's shocking your body and trying something new. Doing the same thing over and over again doesn't always work. You know, there might be something out there that someone can program you that's gonna work for you. <laughs> Would I have won Britain's Strongest Man if Eddie competed? Yes. <laughs> I do believe it would have been a harder competition for Eddie, like it was for me, because I think it was actually slightly too light for me. Um, there's a lot more fitness involved in Britain's Strongest Man this year. I still think I would have won. You don't know unless you'd have been there. It's easy for me to say because he wasn't, but I won and there's, you know you can't take that away from me. So 
it was nice that he handed me the trophy and that he congratulated me, you know, and it was a, it was a nice thing for me. Um, what is your favourite event in Giants Live? I don't know if this means maybe show. Um, for me, Britain's Strongest Man is always close to my heart because it's, it's, the, it's the British title. The British athletes now are getting so good. Um, every year it, it's always uh, a broader uh, strength of athletes like this year, you know, from the first place to the last place, everyone's getting good. Everyone's taking points off each other. It's probably my favourite, you know, and, and they're all they're all good shows. Europe's Strongest Man's a massive show. You know, I, I'm always honoured that I can get an invite and I can go to that. Um, but the British is, is definitely my favourite and uh, it's one that I hope I can continue to do for as many years as possible. Ah, the British log records, without doubt, going at Europe's Strongest Man. Uh, as a warm-up breath. <laughs>